Hey YouTube, welcome, welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to change our oil on this Chevy Equinox right here. We have a 1.5 liter engine and we're going to do an oil change on it. Also, I'm going to re show you how to reset your oil light, your oil life I should say. So first thing first, you want to start your car, let the engine warm up a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, because oil flow better when, the, when it's warm. Go ahead, open your oil cap, so the oil can flow out good, because if you don't open the oil cap, you might have like vacuum, and it might go on, like the oil going, not going to flow in a steady, steady stream, so it's best to do it that way. So we have five quart and a filter. So the next step, we're going to go underneath the vehicle. So guys, we need to locate our oil filter and our oil drain plug, which is this, our drain plug. This is our oil filter. Want to get a filter pliers and pull that. So, we have this right here. So once you get it loose where your hand can can um turn it that's good get that under there and also we need to oh, loosen this right here the drain plug so we're gonna let this drain in the meantime So guys, it takes 16 millimeter. So once you have your 16 millimeter, you can let that drain. So we're just gonna let that drain out some. Also, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. So, guys, we have here, okay, the oil seal here is good, so no need to change that. And the oil stopped from drain running out, so that's good. I'm just going to tighten that up and also go ahead and put on clean this surface right here where the rug is all right i'm gonna clean this surface once we clean this surface we're gonna put some a little oil on the filter and turn it up and once the rubber of the filter meet contact with the metal it's gonna be three quarter to a full Just gonna tip my finger in the oil. Just gonna rub it around here. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and screw on the filter. Alright guys, so once you tighten up your filter, make sure it's tight, make sure your your, your drain plug is tight. Once that's tight, it's time to add oil back in the system. We finish at the bottom, so just go ahead and double check your work, make sure it's all tight. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and throw um three quart first and test the oil and see. So now we're gonna test the oil. Just swipe off it when you first pull it out. Put it back in. Look at the stick. Still haven't reached a stick yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more. 
I still have my Risa stick. So we put like four quarts in already. I'm going to check it again. All right, so we halfway, we like three quarter of the way. It's in the safe zone. So I'm going to put some more. All right. It seems they almost take the whole five quart, so. All right, so let's check the oil. All right, so we're right at the full mark. So what we're gonna do is start the vehicle, let it run for like one to two minutes. And once, just let it run for like a minute or two. And once that finish, you check your oil again. You let it sit for another minute and two and then you check the oil. Make sure you put back your dipstick. Dipstick that, 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 that. So guys, let's, Change, let's reset our oil life. So I want to come in the car. Start it. And while it's running, I just change the oil. So I'm let the oil circulate throughout the throughout the um the system throughout the engine. So these are the keypad we're gonna use. To navigate throughout the I'm gonna go to options. I haven't done this in a long time guys. Info scroll on to oil life. So once you reach there, you wanna press and hold the check mark and it's gonna go to a hundred. Just like that. We're good to go. That's how you reset your oil life on, on Chevy vehicles, whether it's the Malibu, the Cruise, or Equinox. So guys, while that's going on, let the car run for like two minutes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn the car off and let the oil sit for another two minutes. And once the oil sit for two minutes, then we go ahead and check our lever, our oil lever. Make sure it's at the correct lever. If it needs more oil, we add more oil. If it doesn't need more oil, we just go ahead and save it right there. Also, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, so it's sit for like two minutes. Now we're going to check the oil. Sure it's good and it's it's right in the middle so I'm just gonna put the whole five quarts so I guess it take five quarts I guess it take five quarts want to be greedy today huh Check it again. All right, so now it's right at the full mark, so that's good. That's it, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out. See you next time.